what is the meaning of life? That's uh, it's kind of a, a big question, right? It's a, even a little bit dramatic. Yet it's the most important question that we could ask as humans. And uh, foolishness for us would be to either not ask that question or to ignore the answer. The beautiful thing about our God is that he lets us pick the answer. See what I'm saying? You get to pick what is the meaning of life for you. You know, we, we've all seen those kind of t-shirts that say, you know, soccer is life, everything else is details. Or, you know, you could just kind of fill in the blank. You know, your, your job could be life and everything else is details. Or um, power or money or popularity. You, you know, your dog. I, I don't know what it is for you could be the meaning of life. But until we identify what is it that we live for, we end up playing this game where we just chase whatever's shiny, you know, whatever seems like I need that day. That's, that's what we go after. Oh, I, my life would be so much better if I had a, uh, a better phone. You know, so I want that better phone or I, I want a better outfit or a better house or uh, a better car, or a better spouse. You know, I, I, I want a better job, a vacation home, and then we're dead. And the reality is, is so many of us play this this, this game where we're just chasing down the next thing all in an attempt to answer that question. Uh, what is the meaning of life? You know, Jesus actually gives us the, the cheat sheet, the answer book, when he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. You know, Jesus tells us that there might be other things that seem like life or, or taste like life or, or give the, the illusion of life, but the only real life is me. So I would ask you to consider that question of, of, of what is the thing for you that gives your life shape, that gives it meaning. Um, it's important that we identify that because once we do, we, we see that whatever is our life's center is, is the thing that everything else revolves around. You know, if it's, uh, you know, m making someone else happy or if it's making money or a name for our company, you see everything else in our uh, life bends around that singular reality. So unless Jesus is at the core of who we are and why we live, our life is just these meaningless circles that kind of continue to spiral on, until we die. Um, my prayer for all of us today, including myself, is that we can be like Paul, who says in the book of Philippians, I consider everything garbage. All I want is Jesus. Jesus.